it is take two on my trip to Houston, Texas. So hopefully this time we can get on the plane. But as you remembered, I was supposed to get on this morning, but the plane has some sort of malfunction. So fortunately I was able to now get bumped to a later flight. I'll get into Houston a lot later than I had hoped. So I'm gonna miss some meetings, but better safe than sorry. Now I have to say, I haven't flown United Airlines in quite some time. But I gotta say, I am pretty disappointed with my sort of experience so far so I get it our plane had problems we have to get bumped we have to wait till later flight I get all that but the way that I was treated at the ticket counter the first time I was trying to uh, move my flight was really nothing short of being not very kind and not very polite when she could have just taken care of me and she told me I had to go to a different line because this was a first class line I get it, I was in the wrong line, it was a complete accident, but given the situation that our plane got canceled and I was already there and there was a really, really long line on the other line, she should have just easily just helped me out. It wouldn't have been that big a deal. A little bit of kindness, I think United could have gone a long, long way. who's looking to attract that next generation advisor or to bring on that next generation client, you really want to take some time to think about what that person wants from you. So it's really as simple as that. So that next generation advisor, what are they hoping to accomplish by working with someone more experienced like yourself? Maybe it's clients, maybe it's experience, maybe it's connections. And then for that next generation client, what is it that they hope to achieve by working with you? It's probably experience, it's probably other things. So once you understand what it is that you can serve your community best in, or whoever it is that you're trying to attract, then it makes the job a lot easier and it's a little bit more clear. So for everybody, it's gonna be uh, very specific and a little bit more personal. So I think that is a wrap. Now I'm gonna get myself over to the airport so I don't miss my second flight. Well, that's a wrap and that was so much fun. Now I'm heading back to the airport here in Houston, Texas. Gonna be heading home back to the office. I hope that you enjoy this little trip with me to beautiful state of Texas, beautiful city of Houston for FA Magazine Invest in Women Conference. Such a delight. Thank you so much for having me. Not know this, but I absolutely love Mexican food. And one of my favorite chain restaurants when visiting Texas is a restaurant called Papado's and Papacito. And I was actually thinking, oh, well, it's only a one day trip to Houston. I probably won't get to really have Tex-Mex, but lo and behold, there's a Papacito in the airport so I'm super super excited I've got my cup here I've ordered some enchiladas but check it out many of you may know that my husband is actually from San Antonio Texas so I definitely have a fondness for Tex-Mex and the Papa chain was actually introduced to me from my husband I guess there's Papacitos there's Papados which is a sort of southern New Orleans type of restaurant which I love too and I I found that restaurant here as well, but I don't have time because I gotta catch a flight. So I went to Papacito, which is more fast casual. I'm super excited, I'm gonna eat really well on the airplane. I ordered, I ordered two enchiladas with a side salad and a side of guacamole. But looks like it got destroyed a little bit in transit. Probably because of me 
balancing this bag and my luggage, but that's okay. I'm sure it's gonna taste really, really good. I'm really excited actually about this. I'm really excited because I love real Tex Mix. This is good. It's really good. It's really salty, but it's good. Maybe because I haven't had any real food in a while, it feels really salty. But I gotta say, it's really good and gooey and greasy and cheese and lettuce, all mixed in one. I didn't get rice and beans because I just felt like it was overkill. I get too much carbs. Instead, I really like getting a side salad instead. I think it was a good decision because it kind of balances off the saltiness of the enchilada. And this way, I don't have to actually eat dressing, which is another perk, right? Everything in moderation. Cheers to you. I'm gonna finish my lunch and I'll see you in just a bit.